Hello everyone, in this video we are going to write cube root function or equation given a word problem or a graph. Let's have a review on cube root function. In the picture, you will see the shape of the parent graph of the cube root function, its parent equation, and the equation in graphing form. We're going to use this information in the problems we're going to have. Let's take this first example right here. What is the equation of a cube root graph that is a vertex of negative 8, negative 5, and passes through point 117, 0? There are steps that we need to follow in order that we can solve this kind of problem. The first step is to determine the locator point and label this as hk and label the other point as xy. Then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for a. So in this problem that we have here, our hk is the vertex and um, again, it can be called locator point. So then we can go ahead and label this as our h and k. And this point where the graph passes through would be labeled as xy. So in this problem that we have here, we are going to move on to the first step. So after we labeled it, we are supposed to plug these values at h, k, x, and y into the uh, graphing form of a cube root function. The equation of the graphing form of a cube root is y equals a, that is cube root of x minus h, plus k. Now please remember that this h minus k is inside the uh, cube root sign and the k is outside. So then we go ahead and plug these values in. So our y is 0. So I'm going to put the 0 right here is equal to a that is cube root of our x is 117. So that is 117 minus our h is negative 8, so I'm going to write ne minus negative 8. And our k is negative 5, so I'm going to write minus 5. So then we go ahead and simplify this. As you can see on the problem right here, we have two negatives. So again, this is not uh, randomly done. This minus comes from the operation subtraction right there. And this negative 8 comes from the value of the h. So then we can go ahead and change this to plus and plus so that we can simplify it. So this would come out 0 is equal to a. That's a cube root of 117 plus 8 would be 125. And then that is minus 5. So we want to solve for a. That's part of the first step. So we're going to add 5 from both sides. We're going to add 5 here. So then we go ahead and cross the 5 out. So we're left with 5 is equal to a. That's a cube root of 125. In order that you can find the cube root of 125, we need to determine a number that when we multiply it three times by itself, it's going to come out 125. So that number would be a 5. So that is 5 is equal to 5a. That means if we multiply 5 three times, 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. So the cube root of 125 is 5. Now, we are going to divide both sides by 5 so, we, so that we can solve for a. So then we can cross this out. So our a is going to be 1. So then we can go ahead and move on to step 2. So I'm going to uh, put this inside a, a box first. So that's our a. So then in step two, we are supposed to write the equation by plugging in a, h, and k only into the equation in graphing form. So I'm going to rewrite this for step two right here. So that would be um, y equals a cube root of, that's going to be x minus h plus k. Again, x minus h is inside the a radical sign, the k is outside. Now, in this step, we're only supposed to plug in the value of a, h, and k. So then we go ahead and write the equation as y is equal to the a that we solved is 1. And then that is the cube root of x. The value of h that we have over there is negative 8. So that's a minus negative 8. Again, this is inside the parentheses and inside the radical symbol right there. And then the k is a minus 5 at the end. 
So then we can simplify this. Again, remember this becomes a plus and plus. So then the final equation would come out to be y equals, we don't need to write the one, it becomes invisible. That would be equal to the cube root of x plus eight minus five. So this is the equation for this word problem up here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. It's pretty much similar to the ones that we did in the first um, example. But the catch here is that we're given the graph and we are supposed to determine the uh, vertex and the point and then um, so that we can go ahead and determine the equation for this graph So the first one was just a word problem this time around we're given the graph now The first step is to determine the locator point and label this as HK and label the other point as XY Then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for a so I'm just gonna label s1 right here so um, first step on first part on step one is to label the HK and the XY. So this is our vertex or the locator point. So I'm going to label this as the HK. And then this one right here is our point XY. So then we go ahead and write the equation for a cube root function that is equal to Y equals A cube root of X minus H plus K. Again, x minus h is inside the radical, k is outside. Now, we are supposed to plug the values in. So we start with uh, y, our y is five. So I'll put in five for y, that is equal to a cube root of, our x is negative eight, so I'm gonna write negative eight minus, our h is zero, so I'm gonna write minus zero, again, that's inside the uh, uh, cube root sign, and then that's a k value is two, so that's gonna be a plus two at the end, because that's the k. So then we are going to simplify this, so this would come out five equals a, that's the cube root of negative eight minus zero is negative eight, so that's a cube root, and then plus two. So then we go ahead and simplify negative eight, we need to determine what is that number that when we multiply it three times by itself, it will come out negative eight. So that value would be a two, negative two. So that would be negative two a plus two. So the reason why it's negative two, because when I multiply negative two, um, three times, that means negative two times negative two is a positive four. Positive four times negative two is a negative eight. So then uh, the, the cube root of negative eight then is negative two. And then that's a plus two. We wanna solve for a, that's part of the first step. So we're gonna subtract two from both sides, minus two. So then we go ahead and cross out the, the two right there. So we're left with three equals negative two a. We wanna solve for A, so we're dividing both sides by negative two, divide this by negative two, so we can cross this out. Our A value then is negative three over two. So we are ready to move on to step two. In step two, we're supposed to write the equation by plugging in A, H, and K only into the equation in graphing form. So I'm just gonna rewrite that. That would be Y equals A cube root of x minus h plus k. Again, for this step, we only plug in the values of a, h, and k. We keep the variables x and y. So then the equation would come out to be y equals our a is um, gonna be uh, negative three halves, so that's three over two, and then that would be a cube root of, that's gonna be th uh, cube root right here, this is um, x minus zero, our h is zero, so we don't need to write that, so that would just be a cube root of x plus two. So this is our, so this is the equation for this graph right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own, and when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the problem here. It's pretty much the same thing as the first and the second problem, but the catch here is that we are not given the point and we're not given the vertex, but we can always trace these um, values. So first, this will be our vertex. So we're gonna have that as vertex. So looking at this, we can have this as uh, one and two. So the coordinate for this would be one, two, and then we trace the graph so that we are able to determine a point that is uh, that is going to give us a whole number. Again, just a reminder, there are infinite number of points here. We can pick any of those, but again, for um, for the purpose of making the uh, work uh, fast, we're, we can use a whole number. So in here, we can pick the whole number by tracing the uh, graph to see where is that uh, point that gives a whole number. So the whole number for both X and Y. So this is that point. So that is gonna be um, nine. So this co the coordinate for this is nine and seven. So these are the two points. So we're ready to move on to step one. Determine the locator point and label this as HK and label the other point as XY then plug these values into the equation in graphing form and solve for A. So in this problem right here, this will be our HK, which is the vertex, and this will be our XY. So we are ready to plug this into the equation. So that would be for step one, that is Y is equal to A cube root of X minus H plus K. Again, X minus H is inside the square root, I mean the cube root sign. So we plug in the values. Our Y here is seven. So I put in seven right here. And then we are missing the A, that's the cube root of our X is nine, minus our H is one, and then that's a that's gonna be the K is plus two. Put in plus two right there. So we simplify the ones inside the cube root first, so that is seven equals A, that's a cube root of eight. Nine minus one is eight, plus two. Now we are going to determine what is that value when we, um, multiply that number by itself three times, it will come out eight. So that value would be two. So then we can go ahead and um, write this as seven equals two A. So that means two times two is four, four times two is eight. So cube root means we need to determine a number that when we multiply it three times by itself, it will come out this number right here. So that number is two, so that's two A. So this whole thing becomes two A plus two, which is at the end. So then we go ahead and solve for A by subtracting two from both sides, minus two. So then this would come out, we can cross this out. So that's five equals two A. So we're ready to solve for A by dividing both sides by two, divide this by two. So then our A is five over two. So this is our value for A. Now we're ready to move on to step two. So in step two, we're supposed to write the equation by plugging in A, H, and K only into the equation in graphing form. So we can rewrite this, that's Y equals A cube root of, that's gonna be X minus H plus K. And we are plugging in values only for A, H, and K. So then we can go ahead and rewrite this as Y equals our A is five halves. And then that's the cube root of, the X here is a variable, so we keep it, but we need to write the H. Our H is one, so that's a minus one, and then our K is plus two. So this is the equation for this um, graph right here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.